This is Dubious Insights, and we're looking at the RSA encryption algorithm. So in this example, I'm borrowing numbers from Eddie Wu's YouTube video, uh, the RSA encryption algorithm, and I want to show what the point of this is. So basically, what we have is we have a set of three numbers such that if I perform a mathematical operation on them, I can take a message, I can encrypt it using two numbers, and I can decrypt it using the third number. So here, I have a message 10, and I'm performing an operation on it that'll get it to 12. And this is a not reversible operation. So I'm using the 14 and the 5 to get 12 out of the message 10. So that I do that with 10 to the fifth power to the encryption power mod 14. So 10 to the fifth power is what? 10,000 mod 14 is remainder 12. Now there's no way to get to go backwards. This is an irreversible algorithm. There's no way to go backwards and get um, 10 from 12 using the 5 and the 14 because there's a lot of things that mod 14, modules 14, would remain 12. It could be 12, it could be 26, it could be 38. It could be a lot of different things. Um, but the point of the RSA algorithm is there's a third number out there that we can uh, do the opposite operation, that we can do the opposite operation and get the original message back. And these uh, these three numbers are linked, these you know developed using the RSA algorithm. And if we use this third number, we can once again take our 12, raise it to this power, modulus 14, and we get our 10 back. In this case, I'm keeping it, you know, I keep this third number secret. Um, if this was, if I was using this as encryption, I would publish these two. These would be my public key and my, this number and the 14 would be my private key. Um, so you can't develop, it's difficult, it's mathematically difficult to develop what the private key is from the public key. In this case, the private key is 11. And this is an example based on using the numbers two and seven as the two prime numbers that I got from Eddie Wu's RSA encryption algorithm. And so this of course raises the question. So if I use say primes, um, primes two and seven, I get these three numbers and I can raise say my message of 11, raise it to the Fifth power mod 14, I get an encrypted nine, and I can raise nine to the 11th power mod 14 and get the decrypted 11 back. But how do I actually get these three numbers? How do I develop these um, three numbers? And so that is um, the RSA algorithm. And we'll go here. This is using a little bigger numbers. And this one I've kind of, I, well, basically, uh, adapted and copied the spreadsheet from uh, David Metzler's YouTube uh, video, the RSA encryption decryption example, and I did it with slightly bigger numbers than him so I could use a slightly larger message. But um, his, I recommend if you want to learn more about this, Eddie Wu's has two videos on this, David Metzler two videos on this, both really good. So first thing, we need, let's say we have a message. Here I have pet the cat. We need to turn this message into numbers. It needs to be numeric before this algorithm to work. Um, so I just did it with taking the numbers, their alpha, uh, the place in the alphabet. So P is 16, E is five, um, T is 20. Once again, we'll get a 20, H is eight. So I put zero eight. So everything is, every letter is two digits. And then cat is three zero one twenty. This would actually be zero three zero one twenty, but the zero three doesn't um, the leading zero doesn't take. So I have a message, um, and I need to have uh, numbers that are big enough. I need to pick prime numbers that are big enough that can transmit that message. So the um, trick here is that this in value which in this case here is 357601, needs to be bigger than the message value. So since I have three digits, 
three. Um, the each of the words is length three. I had to pick an in value that's bigger than 26, 26, 26, because there's 26 letters in the alphabet. Um, and I did that by picking two prime numbers that are in the in five six hundreds. So 541 multiplied by 661 is, three th or is 357,601. So this is just easy multiplication. Um, and of course, it's easy to get multiply two prime numbers to get one larger number. And the whole point of this algorithm is doing the opposite is difficult. Okay, so I picked two prime numbers. And when you're actually doing, if you actually use the RSA, you pick really large prime numbers, um, such that the n value has at least 1024 bits of size, as I think was recommended currently. Um, this is, of course, much smaller. So I pick, multiply these two numbers, and I get an n value. The next thing I need is my phi value. The phi value represents how many numbers um, that are smaller than this n value, 357,601, that do not share a prime with it. That, um, yes, there are, do not have any co-primes. Um, because both of these are prime, the equation for getting that is p minus 1 times q minus 1, so 540 times 660, and we get our phi of 356,400. The next thing we need is an encryption value. So we pick an E value, and here we get a fairly large choice. Um, we can pick a bunch of different things. We could pick uh, three, we could pick two, we could pick, I pick 17. And the rules here is this value has to be uh, less than phi, greater, greater than one, less than phi, um, and it can't share, it has to be co-prime with phi. So here, since 17 is prime um, and not a factor of phi, it doesn't share, I pick 17. And I, there's an MIT site that, pick, that showed different things. Um, and I think there's reasons for picking larger numbers, uh, but I pick 17. So this is my encryption value. If I wanted to encrypt a message, I will take um, this message raises to the 17th power modulus n. Uh, to get the decryption value, what I need to do is solve this equation. I need to get um, something that is modulus my uh, d times my e, my decryption times my encryption value, um, is modulus 1 with some factor against n. So here it's d times e equals 1 plus m times uh, my n value, or my, sorry, my phi value. Now my m can be anything. This is called a Diophantine qu equations. Um, and actually getting this is something I'm going to use Wolfram Alpha for, Wolfram, Al, Wolfram Alpha for. So here's 17. Um, this is not to the negative first power. This is a modulus notation. But 17, negative 1, mod 356, 400, my phi, gives me a result of uh, 146,753. So this is my decryption value. And so now if I put this in, I can go... 160520 to the 17th power mod 357601. I can start encrypting this message. 43281. 80805. Um, I can't do this part. The other side I did in Excel or Google Sheets. 
I can't do this in Google Sheets because the numbers get too big. Um, and I start to get errors and truncations and things that will not work um, because of numerics that the Sheets isn't keeping enough data. Okay, so this is my encrypted, this is my plain text message, my encrypted message. Um, and I can decrypt it using this um, E, this D and N value. So to decrypt it, I'll take 283, 281 to the D value, 146753. Module, same thing. And I get back 160520. Same thing with 345128, 200805, and 30120. Oh, sorry. 80542. This value gives back 30120. Um, so that's the math. The basic approach is that I have a, the whole point of it is I have an Operation, I can't reverse using the same data that I use to get the operation. I have to have this third hidden number. Um, so that's how I would encrypt something for sending it over for somebody else to decrypt. Interestingly, I can do it, the reverse also works. So I can use my D value. I can say, take my message and say 160520 to the 146 D value. And get 103584. And I can go the other direction um, with the 103584 to the E value 17. And I get the 165 160520. Um, so I have an in, which is public. I have it. And then one of these values is secret. It doesn't really matter which one. And if you go one direction, it's encryption. If you use the public value and run it through this modulus operation, it's encryption. If you use the private value and run it through the modulus value, it is a, di a digital signature. Um, so that's how the RSA algorithm works. Uh, obviously with much bigger numbers, and there's undoubtedly some subtle attacks and things on it that I didn't get into. This is Dubious Insights. Thanks for watching.